What's common between Wes Anderson and Martin Scorsese? Like many others, they are two great admirers of Sotuji today. Wes Anderson is so much inspired by his work that he has dedicated an entire movie, The Darjeeling Limited, to him. It is needless to say, like them, Sotujit Ray had admirers across the globe during the time he was active and even now and will continue to do so. Why is that? Once in a generation comes a person who can be as talented as him. He was not limited to direction. He was screenwriter, lyricist, magazine editor, illustrator, calligrapher, and music composer. Also, in his spare time, he wrote short stories and novels. He was a highly educated man and had great command in English language. He formed Calcutta Film Society to feature films from around the world. He was a cinema enthusiast. He read magazines and watched movies to understand and learn from the works of some of the greats from 1930s and 1940s in world cinema, which is why his approach towards filmmaking is also unique on its own. He was influenced by both Indian and Western cultures, but his roots were deep in India. He understood the strength and limitations of an independent filmmaker. Thus, he made the best use of the resources he had at hand. His first film, Pothir Pachali, which often features in the list of the greatest film ever made, took three years to make. Due to funding problems, the film was shot mainly on location, had a limited budget, featured mostly amateurs or non-actors, and was made by an inexperienced crew. His sole reason of becoming a filmmaker came from his love towards cinema, and not from money. And through his movies, he wanted to tell stories he felt strongly about and did not want anyone to interrupt or try to change anything. He had detailed control over his films, from writing his scripts and lyrics, composing music, designing costumes, casting, till post-production, he was hands-on. He was known for his versatility. He made movies for children like Gupi and Bhagavan and Hirok Raja Deshe. He dealt with stories about infertility like Charulata and Ghare Baire. Sonar Kella, Joy Baba Feluna, Chiriya Khana are adventure detective movies. Calcutta Trilogy documented the radical changes the city and its people were going through. Nayok, Jal Shaghar and Poros Pathor are character study of the protagonist. Agantuk and Shaka Prashaka deals with complexity within family members. Devi explores superstition. He also explored different style of storytelling. Hirok Rajat Deshe had rhyming dialogues. Opu Trilogy used visual storytelling. He did many things in his movies which were not in practice such extensively during that time in Indian cinema. Like he used bounce lights, natural lights and he shot many scenes outdoors for authenticity. He was not afraid to use amateurs or non-actors in his movies. He was mainly known for his humanism. He explored and depicted universal human values through his films. The struggle, weakness, responsibility, belief, aspiration, greed of common man. He touched everything through his films, from realism, fantasy, religion, morality, culture, history, urban, rural, literature, and many more. If you are a student of cinema or appreciate good cinema, then it will be incomplete without watching the works of Ray. Even after so many years, he remains the lone flag bearer of Indian cinema in world stage. If you are interested, you can check out Aparajito, which is a well-made biopic of Sotujitre.